Happy Monday, everyone. This is Martha with Nature Niche coming to you from the Chippewa Nature Center Nature Art Show. And I'm here with Jen Kurtz, the Director of Programs. She's going to tell us a little bit about the art show and why the Nature Center has the Nature Art Show. The Nature Art Show and Sale is an annual event that Chippewa Nature Center hosts the first weekend in December each year. On Friday night is a member pre-sale, so members of the Nature Center are welcome to come and shop ahead of time. And then it's open to the public on Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's the first Saturday in December. Um, the Nature Art Show and Sale has been part of Chippewa Nature Center for a really long time. And it really speaks to um, our belief and understanding that people experience nature in all sorts of different ways. So whether you're birding, whether you're looking for frogs and turtles, whether you want to catch snakes, or whether you might have beautiful artwork hanging around your neck, from your ears, on your wall, in your backyard, um, that's a way that people really connect with the natural world. And so this is an amazing opportunity to showcase fantastic artists, um, weavers and crafters and wood carvers and photographers and um, line drawing and, and painting and metalwork and so many different things. Um, and it's just a way for us to share with the community um, and inspire love of the natural world in a different way than we do during the rest of the year. Thank you very much for having a great time. Awesome. Thank you for being part of it, Martha. Hi, my name is Laura Stockwell, and I am an artist here at the Nature Art Show. Um, I work primarily in watercolor, and I do post my work online at nordmi.com. I am absolutely thrilled to be here, and I love working with nature art because the outdoors is so important to me personally, and I love to replicate um, the things that I see outside and share that with people in the form of art. Hi, I'm Ken Kiefner from Ken Kiefner Studios. This is... Uh, my work. I'm uh, primarily interested in color and I've done nature art just because the opportunities allows me to get outside, uh, to photograph a lot of the work and then come back to the studio to do that. So I've always been a backpacker, hiker, skier, you know, anything outdoors, fly fishing obviously, you know, lends itself. So take a photo, bring it back to the studio, do a painting. Hi, I'm Kathy Woods Booth. I'm a nature and wildlife photographer here in Michigan. I shoot photography because it's, it really is a passion of mine and fills my soul with joy. I inspire other people. There's a lot of people who can't get out and do what I do and to be able to share that with uh, what I see with those people really does fill my heart with joy. So. Hi, my name is Mike Ford. I'm from Sanford, Michigan. And as you can see by the stuff in front of me here, they, I like to do uh, realistic wildfowl, in other words, birds. Uh, everything is hand carved out of wood. I use uh, tupelo and basswood for my mediums, uh, for my habitat. Uh, like, the, like the branches here are made out of brass and copper and, and uh, the dead leaves, of course, are carved. And uh, I put that all together to make it look realistic. Uh, I've been doing this for almost 40 years now. And uh, in the last 20 years, it's been full time. So I do uh, realistic life size. I also do uh, miniatures like you can see down here, the miniature saw went all. Uh, some of my clients like the smaller stuff, you know, for placing on their shelves and stuff. So uh, my most uh, recent piece I just finished is, is this covey of uh, bob white quail for a client. Um, in the, you know, the birds are all uh, hand carved and painted, of course. Uh, the grasses and habitats are made from uh, different forms of uh, copper and brass as well as uh, bamboo uh, pieces uh, to make the grassy look and stuff. And, and I use epoxy clays, you know, for the, some of the bases and some of the stuff. So uh, again, my, my goal is uh, to make uh, realistic looking uh, birds. And I specialize in birds and that's, that's all I do is birds, so. Nice. Hi, my name's Karen. Brooks, and I'm the owner of Cabscapes Photography and Children's Books. And I'll just show you real quick what gives me passion. It's photography, of course. <laughs> and you can see a, a small sampling of the many um, photographs that I've taken over a period of several years. Uh, many are local or region. Um, 
a lot are domestic, and there's a, several that are international too. So over the years, um, we have traveled many places and had lots of opportunities to get nature and other um, interesting uh, photographs. Uh, for each of uh, what you see here, I have uh, different size prints, plus a lot of other prints of things that I haven't framed or turned into canvas. Um, all, all wildlife, floral, scenery, and again, there's some miscellaneous things. I've also turned into note cards and note card sets, so we have boxes of note cards. Um, you can see the different mediums there. And coasters are newer. Um, again, turn photography into coasters, and a lot of them have a Michigan theme. In fact, it looks like all of these here have a Michigan theme. Um, the dahlias are from Dahlia Hill, and then, you know, different uh, lighthouses and, and Michigan themes. Last but not least, I've written over a period of four years, five years, um, some children's books, are, and they're for kids anywhere from infant to be read to all the way up to elementary school. They, they're they about a real eagle uh, that first started out as based on a true story, but then I wrote a series of the four books to follow her through fictional adventures through de, um, her development stages to an adult. And that really was a cool thing because it, I was able to use photography and I like creative writing, so it married those two things. And there's a lot of nature and conservation information in the back of each book. So it was a really nice uh, tie together of things that really give me passion. So thank you for watching. And, uh, I hope you enjoy my photography and children's books. My name is Cynthia Marsh, and I live in the UP, way up in the Keweenaw Peninsula, and I do metal smithing, silver smithing, and I, most of my stones are from Michigan, because Michigan has such beautiful rocks to choose from, and I do Tosky stones, green stones, and agates, and I do all the metal work myself, and I cut everything out with my jeweler saw, and I do nature-inspired work because that's where I find my, my joy is out in nature. We, uh, we have all kinds of wildlife up where I live. We have the wolves and the coyotes and the bears and the eagles, and I just find so much joy in being outside, and I want to represent that in my, in my work. Hi, my name is Ruth Freshlow, and my Facebook page is Natural Expressions by Ruth of Freshlow. And my mediums, I go out in nature and I gather things and I make uh, baskets, I make cordage, wood pieces, I'm also a hand spinner, so I make a lot of um, hats, hand spun yarn, different things, these felted vessels. And mostly I do the nature art. I just find it really peaceful and therapeutic. A lot of time I spend at the beach gathering driftwood and things. It's just really calming being out in nature and um, gathering. And then I have a little cabin on the river, so I'm able to um, do my weaving and stuff and just be out in nature all the time. I just love the the peacefulness and uh, it just brings me a sense of calm and it's good to be able to have those talents to use to make beautiful things. Hi, my name is Bill Lauderrock. I'm a photographer doing mainly nature but also architecture um, and, uh, and landscapes. Um, I'm asked why I do this. Well, I enjoy it. And I enjoy doing the photographic process from the original image capture all the way through to prints. And that's why you see the prints here on the racks. Um, I do three shows a year at most. I am in a gallery in East Taos. And uh, I guess I do this for my own enjoyment and to share what I see with other people. Hi, I'm Janet Larner. I'm with the Midland Fiber Arts Guild. I myself am a weaver, but our guild represents weavers, spinners, quilters, people who knit, crochet, and do all kinds of other things with fiber. I myself often work with natural fibers, 
wool, cotton, linen, and uh, my favorite, silk. And I like using natural fibers for the way they feel, the way they endure, and the way they look when they're all worked on. Hi, I'm Barbara Markell with Markell Multimediums. Uh, I work mostly with watercolor and I do a lot of nature, flowers, birds, uh, animals. Uh, and the reason that I love to paint nature items is because I was taught by my dad when I was very young to love nature and it's just been a wonderful thing for me. You can reach me on Etsy.com, or there are some stores here in Midland that furnish my cards, uh, Wellington Limited, Smith's Flowers, Imagine That, and I think that's about it right now. I'm Martha Holtire with Nature Niche, and my husband and I um, work in metal mostly steel that we cut with a CNC plastic cutter and we powder coat. And I pose to a lot of the artists the question, why do you do nature art? And I think if I had to um, answer that myself, uh, a quote that came to mind, um, this is by George Bernard Shaw, is that imitation is not just the sincerest form of flattery, it's the sincerest form of learning. So I think by imitating nature with my art. I am um, just showing the passion I have for um, nature and, and the outdoors and just the admiration for how beautiful it is and how complicated it is. Um, and I learn as I'm drawing a landscape or really focusing on a species and appreciating how it's built and all its colors and textures. Um, so I think, you know, I I imitate um, nature with my art because of that, and um, I just love sharing sort of the joy. I think um, nature is good for the soul, and being able to share that uh, with other people and surrounding ourselves with that, whether we're inside or outside, um, is a great way to be happy.